United Airlines is planning to buy 15 supersonic planes that could be in the air by the end of the decade. Here is the CEO of Boom Supersonic talking about the big deal. Listen. Supersonic is back. It's back in a big way, and it's here to stay. What we can get excited about here is high-speed travel that's going to be available to tens of millions of people. From Newark, New York to uh, London is going to be three and a half hours. And what that means is instead of that being a painful overnight flight, you can leave in the morning, make a late afternoon meeting in London, go out to dinner, and then be home to tuck your kids into bed that same day. Just not till 2029. Uh, Shane Sissel and Courtney Dominguez are back. So, I mean, this honestly reminded me, first thing I thought about was the Concorde. And I think all of us remember the Concorde. But it was, I remember it, when it finally shut down in 2003, if you go back and look at the prices, it was like 70, it was $8,000, I remember, even in the 90s, to take a round trip on the Concorde. And in today's mm-hmm. pricing, it would be $12,900 uh, for, for that, for a round trip from New York to London on the Concord. Okay. So with these really, really high prices and, and, you know, Shana makes a great point. Ah, I'm saving two hours. Big deal. Which I think is the leisure travel. I completely agree with that. I mean, I'm not going to, on my own dime on vacation, kind of pay for that personally. Um, But I think it's kind of interesting to look at what these airlines is. They're really trying to capitalize on the business traveler because business travelers are actually about less than a third of the seats, but more than half of revenue of most airlines. And so if you can make it more time efficient for your business traveler, because you tend to see that your corporations are going to be a little less cost sensitive than your your leisure travel is, the question is, can they capture that? So I think it is like there's potential there, but I agree with you. I mean, at those prices, it's going to be only like some major top corporations that are even looking at that for very few employees. So, um, you know, I think we'd have to see the price come down somewhat on that. Yeah. And to your point about business travelers, I'm surprised by so many people I talk to that are ready to come back to the office. And a lot of those business mm-hmm. travelers that I talk to that say they're ready to get back in the air, that, that they hate Zoom. Zoom doesn't oh, yeah. work. You've got to be face to face. I think, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out.